Watching your favorite video game transition into a big screen blockbuster can be hit or miss. That hasn't stopped Hollywood and A-list actors like Dwayne Johnson and Hugh Jackman from signing up to star in these adaptations. Some surprising games are making their way to the big screen, along with a few games looking to make a Hollywood comeback. Check out 10 video game movie adaptations you didn't know were coming, but before you do that, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Tetris the game of Tetris is simple. Falling blocks of various shapes must be arranged to form complete lines on the bottom of the screen. While the puzzle action can be fun, intense, or even relaxing, it doesn't exactly scream movie. That hasn't stopped Hollywood from going all in on a big budget epic involving the classic puzzle title. What's next? Pong the movie? The Tetris film production is an ambitious effort with a lot of secrecy surrounding the plot and the way the game will translate into a movie. Producers of the film have made one thing clear. It will not feature a bunch of people running away from falling blocks. As Tetris goes into further development, it's important to keep an open mind. The film can go many ways as it explores its deep sci-fi roots. It's set to film in both China and the United States, adding a lot of intrigue to where the story takes place. Either way, the film has a reported budget of $80 million. Hopefully they can connect them all together to form some straight lines to the movie theaters. If the first movie is a success, then a whole trilogy has been planned for the series. Temple Run out of all the popular apps available, Candy Crush, Clash of Clans, Five Nights at Freddy's, nothing seems more fitting for a movie adaptation than Temple Run. The app's story already feels like a movie plot. After an explorer steals a hidden treasure idol, he must run and run and run to avoid traps, obstacles, and the giant monkeys that seek revenge. The giant demon monkey would make a great movie villain, and a film adaptation would be a great mix of adventure tales like Indiana Jones and Journey to the Center of the Earth. The film version of Temple Run is sticking to the game's roots, and following the original story fairly closely. If this movie is a success, it could easily become a fun action film franchise. It would be interesting to see the demon monkeys and other creatures come to life. The film would also have to avoid bogging down the story with too many subplots or extra characters. Temple Run is a name that gaming fans are familiar with, and you can already see countless movie fans playing a special movie version of the game as they wait through the endless previews before the film begins. Sly Cooper one of Sony's biggest gaming franchises is the stealthy raccoon known as Sly Cooper. Cooper debuted on the PS2 in 2002 and has had several sequels and spin-off games following his initial success. With witty banter, funny sidekicks, and some great stealth action, Sly Cooper would naturally translate well into a Hollywood film. With production almost completed, Sly Cooper is set for a theatrical release sometime in 2017 or 2018, but no official date has been set yet. Ian James Corlett provides the voice of Sly and he's an experienced video game voice voice actor with various roles in LEGO games and Transformers games. The filmmakers smartly decided to keep the film all animation, which makes a natural progression from the game to the big screen. Along with Sly, the film features his sneaky buddies, Bentley the Turtle and Murray the Hippopotamus. The released teaser trailer has not revealed much, but does showcase a stylish animation, good voice acting, and some of the funny humor that the game series is known for. The animal designs are similar to films like Zootopia and Sing, creating a whole world where animals live like human beings. It seems like the film will follow the plot of the first game and feature the evil villain known as Clockwork. If everything goes well, this could be a huge hit for Sony and children. Dead Island whether it's based on a video game or not, you can expect to see at least one zombie film hit theaters every year. With the success of World War Z and TV shows like The Walking Dead, the possibility of a video game series like Dead Island hitting the big screen is more likely than ever now. Fans have a lot of hope for the Dead Island film, given that the games did little to tell a full story, but were filled with a lot of potential. Many rumors have come out about a Dead Island movie, but it's now in the hands of an independent production company known as Oculent. The film was originally at Lionsgate, but the development stalled after several months. If the film aims to be a success, then it should avoid all the pitfalls of the video game adaptation for House of the Dead. Essentially set on an island, the 2003 film was a low-budget mess and a huge disaster when it hit theaters. It's considered one of the worst video game movies of all time and is one of the biggest obstacles when bringing Dead Island to the big screen. With the right planning, Dead Island can be a modest hit and create a lot of buzz in the horror industry. There are always new ways to infuse the zombie genre, and Dead Island can be one of them. Gran Turismo 
There are many games that would make excellent racing films. We've already seen Need for Speed, but other titles like Twisted Metal and Mario Kart would make for some interesting films. If you're looking for a serious racing film that combines high-speed cars with some dramatic thrills, then you can look forward to seeing the official Gran Turismo movie. Details on the plot are being kept under wraps over at Sony, but rumors have circulated that stars like Hugh Jackman are rumored to join the production. The screenplay for Gran Turismo is currently being written by the same duo that helped write and develop both Red and Red 2. Gran Turismo has the ability to blend real cars with some intense racing sequences that focus on more than just speed. It can stick to the formula of the games and provide fans a fun racing movie that isn't too over the top like some of the Fast and Furious films. There's really no storylines in the Gran Turismo games. This creates a blank canvas for filmmakers to really play around with ideas and present an action-filled movie that can entertain fans all over the world. Roller Coaster Tycoon Simulation games are pretty much like living movies. The whole point of these games is to explore the world and take control yourself. That's why it's pretty odd that a film production company would take on an adaptation of a game like Roller Coaster Tycoon. Originally released for the PC, Roller Coaster Tycoon is now a massively successful franchise that's also available on mobile devices. It's not only fun to build your own theme park, but it's fun to cause chaos and destruction to all the guests that are visiting. This is one of the more entertaining parts of the game, but it's not exactly clear what direction the movie should go in. The movie version of Roller Coaster Tycoon can go multiple ways. It can follow the footsteps of a horror film in the same vein as Final Destination 3. It could also be a survival story of a theme park that suffers some crazy malfunctions. It could even follow the story similar to the way a player plays the actual game. This would follow a person opening a theme park on its first day and dealing with all the crazy calamity that comes with it. Either way, the idea alone could be a huge bomb and this is a risky move for Sony Pictures. Shinobi some of the more obvious film adaptations come from classic game franchises that still have legs and millions of fans. For Sega, one of these titles is Shinobi. Shinobi first debuted in 1987 and became Sega's initial mascot before a speedy blue hedgehog took over. The first Ninja Arcade game was a big hit and led to many sequels including the latest release in 2011. There are years of content to draw from in the series, and Sega saw the potential for a movie franchise. Because of the interest in Shinobi alone, Sega created a production company known as Stories International. Shinobi is going to be the first live-action movie to come from the company, and will present a great ninja tale based off the game. The game follows the journey of Joe Musashi, a ninja assassin that defeats forces of evil to rescue family members, love interests, and innocent victims. There's no official release date yet, but other Sega games are also slated for production. This includes titles like Crazy Taxi and Golden Axe. Maybe it was Sonic's cameo in Wreck-It Ralph that got the whole train moving for Sega film adaptations. If Shinobi's a success, you can count on seeing more Sega movies in the future. Fruit Ninja if slicing fruit at a rapid pace doesn't represent a story for a great movie, then I don't know what does. Yes, it's true. Fruit Ninja is being adapted as a movie. The rights were purchased by New Line and will likely be an animated film that falls somewhere between a mix of Kung Fu Panda and Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. The film will follow the story of young children who are being trained to become fruit ninjas in an attempt to save the world. The popular app is pretty silly as it is, lending to a lot of natural comedy for the film. Angry Birds ended up being a pretty big success, so the same could be done for Fruit Ninja. It's all about how the story plays out, and the writers have already been hired. There's no word on when production will actually start, but animated films can take more than four years to make in some cases. Hopefully, the fruit doesn't spoil before the film reaches the big screen. If anything, Fruit Ninja may help a whole generation of children make healthy food choices, or just a huge mess in your kitchen. Rampage Dwayne The Rock Johnson knows how to pick his big budget blockbusters. The Fast and Furious franchise is a huge success, San Andreas was a hit all around the world, and he also catered to the younger crowd by voicing Maui in the Disney film Moana. In an effort to make up for the poor adaptation of Doom, Johnson is returning to the world of video games once again with a live action role in the adaptation of the arcade classic Rampage. The film will mix real world action with digital characters causing all types of destruction around the world. The game Rampage features oversized monsters that cause destruction and chaos across multiple cities and huge landmarks. The monsters include a giant werewolf, gorilla, and dinosaur. The evil stepson of King Kong and Godzilla has the makings for a film already, and production has started as of April 2017. There's no word on if the monsters will stick to their cartoonish looks or go with a more realistic tone, but it should be a fun ride with Johnson involved. Like many other films with The Rock, expect this one to be a hit with both gamers and non-gamers. Super Mario Bros. 
When discussing video game movie adaptations, it's hard to ignore one of the worst of all time, Super Mario Bros. The 1993 movie adaptation was not only one of the worst video game films, but it was one of the worst movies of all time. The plot was nonsensical, the designs were poorly done, and the whole film eliminated everything that fans of the franchise loved. King Koopa appears in human form for the majority of the film. It just wasn't right. Thankfully, the Mario franchise has risen above the movie and delivered on the gaming front. After more than 20 years, it's finally time for Mario to return to the big screen. Earlier this year, Nintendo launched plans for developing more feature films in an effort to expand their brands. This not only includes Mario, but other franchises like The Legend of Zelda and Kirby. You can always expect to see more Pokemon films, but another Super Mario film would be a great surprise. The best way to make it successful is to keep it animated. Mario's animation style is instantly recognized recognizable, and it could be cleaned up a lot to create an awesome movie plot. A live action film would be another setup for a disaster and could kill off the potential for any other Nintendo movie. What video game movie do you want to see the most? Which one do you think will be the biggest bomb? Are there any that we missed? Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos.